This flames ripped through a Sandy Springs apartment fire early this morning, leaving more than a dozen families homeless. Everyone made it out alive, but the Sandy Springs Fire Department had a hard time finding a working fire hydrant. CBS 46's Melissa Stern, she joins us from the complex. And Melissa, this is certainly highlighting the importance of working fire hydrants. When there's a fast moving fire, every second counts. Take a look at this fire hydrants that firefighters tried to plug into this morning. You can see there's an out of order sign on it, which caused a slight delay because this is the closest hydrant to the building and firefighters had to go find the next closest one. It's all still such a sh fog, um, but what I do remember is hearing someone kicking my door in as though it was a home intruder. A total of eight units were impacted by the fire at Azalea Park Springs Apartments. Flames engulfed the building just after midnight, leaving a burned out shell. Not able to grab keys, cell phone, eyeglasses. But many are wondering if the damage could have been minimized as the closest hydrant was out of order. We also had a challenge with water supply one of the hydrants in this uh, complex uh, is uh, out of service so we did lay line to a lower uh, another another hydrant within the uh, complex and then we uh, laid another five inch line to the complex to the south of us absolutely i have no doubt because i saw the fire on the back side of that building at 12 15 and when the fire picked up it just spread across the roof had they been able to stop it here those people probably wouldn't have lost their property because it started back here. A spokeswoman for the city of Sandy Springs says it's private property and it's up to the complex to do an annual inspection. The complex is also responsible for maintaining all fire hydrants. Everything in there is signifies who I am and to just lose it in a matter of seconds for negligence is heartbreaking. The city spokeswoman also said the complex supposedly already called crews to make repairs and they were supposed to come out today. The Red Cross helped a total of 11 families and 23 people with immediate emergency needs. I reached out to the apartment complex to find out when these hydrants were last inspected, but I never heard back. I've also requested that information from the city. No injuries were reported and the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting live in Sandy Springs, I'm Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.